Hi there, this is Randy, your sewing machine man. What we're looking at is the hook assembly area for a 15 class oscillating hook sewing machine. This is a Kenmore, but you'll see this on a lot of machines. You'll see it on uh, Singers and uh, New Homes, Janome's, just millions of machines out there have this particular setup. Bernina, uh, there's a lot of them. It's a very common setup, very, very popular, very tried and true. And I like it a lot. It's 15 class, which means it has a 15 class bobbin. Let's see what that looks like right there. And the reason we're doing this video is because people call me and say it fell apart and I need to get it back together. Well, getting it apart is real easy. Getting it back together is just a little bit of a puzzle. You have the left arm here, snaps to the left, the right arm snaps to the right now you can snap this all the way down and get it out it's hard to do but it'll go all the way down and you can get it out but it won't go back together trust me so you want to snap the left one to the left the right one to the right let's say you got a piece of thread or something stuck in here it'll lock it up like it's welded it's unbelievable what a little piece of thread will do this is your retainer ring you pull this off here's your hook assembly you can see it's point down it's half the circle your shuttle driver over here is the other half of the circle. Now this will go back together with this down. It won't go back together with the needle down. Ideally, you want to have the needle at its highest point while you have it apart. Take your needle oiler or whatever you can. Just put a drop inside the rim there where this hook runs in the race. This is the race assembly. Race assembly is a very soft metal. Chrome is very hard. The chrome will grind away at that and you'll get little black uh, markings on your thread and you'll wonder what that is that's metal shaving so put a little drop of oil on that so this runs on a s slim little layer of oil just to drop is fine so if the needle at its highest point you have the C the hook driver on the left and this is the other half of the circle on the right hand side with the needle at its highest point you set that in with the needle hook point rather pointing down then you have your retainer ring you see the little indents where your ears are going to swing over on both sides so those will be pointing out you have a little kick at the bottom there it's going to go in this little groove in the center and of course this will be facing away from you to the back of the machine so with everything at its highest point you put this back in Snap the left one to the right, snap the right one to the left, grab your bobbin case, enough thread to pick up, pull your latch, as long as you have a hold of your latch it won't release and fall out, your little ear, it's going to be sticking toward the very top, it's a little notch up here in the top, you can see that, it's going to go into that, so you snap it on like so, make sure it's flush at the end, you're all back together. Really good